In the vast expanse of our solar system, there's a world hiding in plain sight. It's a place where ice and rock coexist. Towering mountains rise from ancient craters, and the remnants of our solar system's earliest days are waiting to be discovered. This is Ceres, the dwarf planet that everyone forgets. Welcome to a journey through time and space as we unravel the secrets of one of our solar system's most fascinating and mysterious objects. Ceres, located in the asteroid belt between Mars and Jupiter, has a history that dates back to the dawn of planetary exploration. Discovered in 1801 by Italian astronomer Giuseppe Piazzi, Ceres was initially hailed as a new planet before being relegated to the status of an asteroid and eventually reclassified as a dwarf planet in 2006. But there's so much more to Ceres than just its tumultuous, taxonomic journey. Ceres is a world unlike any other, with a complex geology, a potential subsurface ocean, and a surface marked by intriguing features that have captivated scientists for centuries. Thanks to the groundbreaking Dawn mission, launched by NASA in 2007, we now have an unprecedented view of this mysterious world. With its revolutionary ion propulsion technology, Dawn became the first spacecraft to orbit two extraterrestrial bodies, providing us with a wealth of data and images that have transformed our understanding of Ceres and its place in the solar system. Today, we will explore the untold story of the dwarf planet that everyone forgets. Witness the breathtaking beauty of Ceres from its cratered surface to its enigmatic bright spots, and learn why this tiny world holds the key to unlocking some of the biggest mysteries of our cosmic origins. This is Ceres, and it's time to give this incredible world the attention it deserves. Let's start with a brief history of Ceres. Ceres' story begins on New Year's Day, 1801, when Giuseppe Piazzi spotted a faint glimmer of light in Taurus's constellation. Initially believed to be a comet, further observations revealed that Ceres was, in fact, a new celestial body. For half a century, Ceres was hailed as the missing planet between Mars and Jupiter, a long sought after piece of the cosmic puzzle. As more objects were discovered in the same region, Ceres was reclassified as an asteroid, a fate shared with other small bodies in the asteroid belt. It wasn't until 2006 when the International Astronomical Union, IAU, established new criteria for planetary classification that Ceres was elevated to a dwarf planet, sharing this designation with Pluto and a handful of other objects in the solar system. Despite its diminutive size, Ceres is a world of superlatives. With a diameter of 940 kilometers, it's the largest object in the asteroid belt accounting for nearly a third of the belt's total mass. But what sets Ceres apart from its rocky neighbors is its unique composition and structure. Beneath its cratered surface, Ceres is believed to harbor a layer of water-rich material. This subsurface ocean could rival the underground seas of Jupiter's moon Europa and Saturn's moon Enceladus. This tantalizing possibility has made Ceres a prime target for astrobiological research as scientists seek to understand the potential for life beyond Earth. The Dawn Mission, Unlocking Ceres Secrets. NASA launched the Dawn spacecraft in 2007 to unravel the mysteries of Ceres. Equipped with a suite of advanced scientific instruments and a revolutionary ion propulsion system, Dawn set out to explore two of the largest objects in the asteroid belt, Vesta and Ceres. After a successful rendezvous with Vesta in 2011, Dawn arrived at Ceres in 2015, becoming the first spacecraft to orbit a dwarf planet. Dawn mapped Ceres' surface in unprecedented detail throughout its extended mission, revealing a world of stunning geological diversity. As Dawn spiraled closer to Ceres, it captured images of a surface scarred by countless craters, some dating back billions of years. But amidst these ancient impact basins, Dawn also discovered recent geological activity, including landslides, fractures, and mysterious bright spots hinting at subsurface ice and salts. One of Ceres' most striking features is a Cater Crater, 
a 92 kilometer wide impact basin that houses the dwarf planet's most prominent bright spots. Named Cerealia facula and Vinalia faculae, these reflective patches are thought to be salt deposits left behind by the sublimation of briny water from Ceres' interior. Another enigmatic feature on Ceres is Ahuna Mons, a towering mountain that rises four kilometers above the surrounding terrain. Scientists believe Ahuna Mons may be a cryovolcano, a type of volcanic feature that erupts a mixture of salt water, mud, and volatile materials instead of molten rock. The discovery of cryovolcanism on Ceres suggests that the dwarf planet may have been geologically active recently. The presence of water, organic compounds, and active geology on Ceres has made it a tantalizing target for astrobiological research. While the surface of Ceres is too cold and radiation bombarded to support life as we know it, the dwarf planet's subsurface ocean could potentially harbor microbial organisms similar to those found in Earth's deep sea hydrothermal vents. By studying Ceres and other icy worlds in our solar system, scientists hope to understand better the conditions necessary for life to emerge and thrive. The discoveries made by the Dawn mission have opened up new avenues for exploration and raised exciting questions about the potential for habitability beyond Earth. Conspiracy theories, alien bases, and ancient astronauts. While the scientific community has been busy unraveling Ceres mysteries through rigorous research and data analysis, the dwarf planet has also become a fascination for conspiracy theorists and fringe thinkers. One of the most persistent conspiracy theories suggests that the bright spots on Ceres, particularly those found in Okata Crater, are not natural geological features, but evidence of an alien base or settlement. Proponents of this theory speculate that the highly reflective areas could be artificial structures such as buildings or landing pads created by extraterrestrial beings. They argue that the geometric shapes and patterns of the bright spots are too perfect to result from random geological processes. Another conspiracy theory proposes that NASA is engaged in a cover-up, withholding information about Ceres and its potential for harboring alien life. Supporters of this idea claim that the Space Agency has discovered evidence of extraterrestrial activity on the dwarf planet, but is keeping it secret to avoid public panic or to maintain control over the information. They point to alleged inconsistencies in NASA's data and images as proof of a larger conspiracy. Some ancient astronaut theorists who believe that extraterrestrial beings visited Earth in the distant past and influenced human civilization have also turned their attention to Ceres. They suggest that the Dwarfit's abundance of water and organic compounds makes it an ideal waypoint or base for ancient alien visitors. According to this theory, Ceres could have served as a miner or refueling station for extraterrestrial spacecraft, and the bright spots might be the remnants of ancient alien technology. While these conspiracy theories may be intriguing to some, it's essential to approach them with a critical eye. The scientific evidence collected by the Dawn mission and analyzed by experts in the field does not support the existence of alien bases, NASA cover-ups, or ancient astronaut visitations on Ceres. The bright spots, for example, are most likely salt deposits or other reflective materials that geological processes, such as cryovolcanism or impact cratering, have exposed. As we continue to explore Ceres, and other celestial bodies in our solar system, we must base our understanding on empirical evidence and scientific reasoning rather than speculation and conspiracy theories. By doing so, we can ensure that our knowledge of the universe is grounded in reality and that rigorous inquiry and critical thinking principles guide our efforts to uncover its mysteries. Future exploration and unanswered questions Despite the wealth of data collected by the Dawn spacecraft, many mysteries about Ceres remain unsolved. The origin and composition of the dwarf planet's bright spots, the nature of its subsurface ocean, and the potential for past or present life are all questions that will require future missions to address. In the coming years, NASA and other space agencies are planning a new generation of spacecraft and instruments 
that will build on the legacy of the Dawn mission. From sample return missions to subsurface explorers, these future endeavors will provide unprecedented insights into the history and evolution of Ceres and other small bodies in our solar system. As we've seen, Ceres is a world of surprises and untold stories. From its humble beginnings as a faint speck of light in the night sky to its current status as a dwarf planet and potential abode for life, Ceres has captivated the imaginations of scientists and explorers for centuries. Through the groundbreaking discoveries of the Dawn mission, we've come to appreciate the complexity and diversity of this remarkable world. We've seen evidence of a subsurface ocean, cryovolcanic activity, and a surface shaped by the interplay of ice and rock. We've glimpsed the potential for habitability and the promise of future discoveries that could rewrite our understanding of life in the universe. So the next time you gaze up at the night sky, remember the dwarf planet that everyone forgets. Remember Ceres, a world of wonders waiting to be explored, a testament to the enduring human spirit of discovery and a reminder that even the smallest and most overlooked objects in our cosmic neighborhood can hold the key to answering some of the biggest questions of our existence.